What's up guys, Jason back to my channel, tonight I'll be doing a review for AW Collision and uh, Battle of the Belts 11. So let's get into it then with the first match, Orange Cassidy versus Joint TV. Joint uh, Shivani welcome us to AW Collision inside Esports, uh, Arlington, uh, Texas. Nigel McGinn is joining him on commentary as a theme for Orange Cassidy hits and the crowd explodes as a freshly squeezed one uh, makes his way out for the opening action. All right, we see footage from AWX Adult Swim Battle for the Booty Show, and then Johnny TV uh, comes out, coming by Todd Valkyrie. Uh, uh, Valkyrie, I'm sorry. Um, the two uh, head to the ring together to a ton of booze. The bell sounds like fish are running with our first match of the evening. Um, Johnny TV leaves his sunglasses on for the early action. Um, Cassie ends up taking them off and putting them on himself. He puts his hands in his pockets and does the Wimby kick routine and continues to out wrestle Johnny T without any uh without any hands for a couple of moments. Uh the action spills out to the floor where Valkyrie uh gets involved, resulting in Johnny T V taking over control of the offense. The match resumes inside the ring with Johnny T V in a comfortable offensive lead. The fans rally behind Cassie with freshly squeezed chance. Oh, by the way, there's eight matches on here on the collision, so yeah, so you guys know. Uh, Cassie starts to um, starts to come to live, hitting a stun dog millionaire and a tornado DDT for a close two count. Cassie takes the pad off his arm and sets up for the orange punch, but Johnny TV counters with a swinging net breaker. He goes for a starship pain, but Cassie uh, avoids it. We see Cassie try for a DDT off the top rope, but Johnny TV. Once again, counters with a swinging net breaker. He hops on the ropes and goes for Starship Pain again. With this time, he connects. He goes for the cover, but only gets only gets two fans. War with Freshy Squeeze. Uh, chance again. Orange Cassidy comes to life once again and hits a Brett Beach break, which he immediately follows up with his trademark orange punch uh, finisher. He goes for the cover and gets the three cap for the victory in a pretty basic opening contest to set the tone for tonight's doubleheader. After the match, Valkyrie hits the ring for some cheap shots on Cassie. She stops dead in her tracks. Upon hearing the familiar sounds of Willow Nightingale's theme music, out comes the CMLL uh, Women's World Champion to run on Valkyrie and Johnny TV. So winner is Orange Cassie. Alright, we see highlights of the PSG Archie winning the AW Trios Championships last week and then shoot uh, backstage to a live interview with the Bang Bang Gang. Juice Robinson vows revenge on Mama Wayne for her involvement in the match last week. The guns echo those sentimentals. Alright, next match is Claudio Casanoli and Weir uh, Yuta versus Brian Cage and Lee Moriarty versus Dante and Darius Martin back inside the arena. Theme for Claudio Casanova hits. Out he comes, accompanied by Blackpool Combat Club member Wheeler Yuta for a three uh, way tag team contest. The BCC duo sound the ring to chants of BCC, BCC from the Arlington crowd. The theme for the machine of uh, Brian Cage hits. Out he comes, he stops and waits his partner. Lee Moriarty out. Uh, who comes out next, accompanied by Shane Taylor. They head to the ring together as footage of Moriarty's title victory at ROH death before his arm ties 24 are shown. All right, tough flight duo Dante Mario and uh, Darius Martin comes out next, accompanied by Matt Andre. They head to the ring and the bell sounds to start to get this one push off and running. Moriarty and Yoda, you, uh, and Yoda think, uh, kick things off for their respective teams. The two pick where they left off after last night's ROH peer review. Martin tags in and he and Yuta begin to mix it up as the crowd comes to life in the background. Uh, inf the infantry are shown the back watching the match. After some more tags uh, back and forth action, we should get into a mid-match commercial break as the match continues. When we return, uh, we see Casanova and Cage left alone in the ring to duke it out with back and forth strikes. Eventually, things go in favor of the BCC duo as Yuta helps pick up the victory for he and Casanova as soon as the match wraps up. We uh, head to another commercial break. So, winners are Claudio Casanova and We Are Yuta. Uh, Alright, when we return uh, from the break, we see the uh, Congo Moration, hope I said that right, backstage for an interview statement. Marbury's going ask Kyle Riley to hold his baby and hands him the ROH Championship, which he tosses up in the air over and over like a child for a big pop from the crowd in the background. Briscoe continues his problem like only he can by. Introduce by introducing uh, the newest member of the conglomeration, Little J. The baby is handed to him, and he finishes up with, uh, his very awesome Mark Briscoe style promo to wrap up the quick segment. That was a cool. That was a good one. <laughs> All 
All right, next match is Hologram versus Beast uh, versus the Beast uh, Mortals. It's now time for the uh, sophomore act of Hologram. He makes his way down to the ring uh, as Nacho McGinnis tells his comic uh, book style uh, backstory. Fans chant his name as he sells in the ring. The game for his opponent hits outcomes of Beast Mortals. We see footage of his impressive performance at RH Death before his owner as he sells in the ring. The bell sounds to and these two immediately get after it with fast paced action. Hologram uh, quickly hits some impressive high spots as we shift gears into a match commercial break. Um, when we return, we see Hologram hit a flipping splash onto Mortals on the floor and then hits uh, an insane top uh, taupe suicidal dive and a uh, dive that sends Mortals halfway out the ramp back in the ring. Hologram endures some big power spots for from Mortals. He ends up carving and finishing him off when impressive when fans were way into Hologram and Arnes and Disney. They chant his name again as he leaves the ring and we head to a post-match commercial break with women's singles action uh, waiting on the other side when we return. So winner is Hologram. Alright, next match is Donna Rosa versus Maya World. As soon as we turn for the break, Donna Rosa's theme hits. Um, out she comes to a big crowd reaction from the Texas fans and attendance already in the ring and it's her scheduled opponent for tonight's Maya uh, World. The bell sounds and Fisher off running with this one. Shivani again and McGinnis put over Maya as the rookie of the year in Tesla 20. She hits a nice arm drag to get an impressive start to this one. She isolates Rosa's arm and goes to work on it, but Rosa reverses and does the same to her. After some more back for action, the two have stared down the middle of the ring and began trading slaps in the face before intensifying the strikes, which graduate to uh, punches and vicious forearms. Gosh, come on. All right, Rosa and Maya. Well, wait, Rosa takes down Maya and grounded pounds and pounds away before hitting a big close in the corner. Rosa gets a modified camel clutch and gets a quick uh, tap out for the submission victory. She sends a message directly into the camera afterwards. So winner is Thunder Rosa. All right, Murha Monster backstage footage of Will Osprey against Murha Monster Lance Archer from last year and. And NJPW, we then learned that the two will go one on one next Wednesday night on AW Dynamite. Backstage, we see bodies laid out everywhere. We catch up to Archer, who is beating down some more uh, no bodies as he vows to change things around here and beat Osprey's ass next week. All right, next match is the Conglomeration uh, versus the Premier Athletes. The Conglomeration trio of Marbury Go, Kyle Ryan, and Tomohashi make their way out together for our next match of the uni. Then for their opponent's hits and out comes the premier athletes accompanied by Mark, uh, Smart Mark Sterling. Uh, uh, Sterling handles the ring introductions for Tony's and Aria uh, Davari and Josh Woods after they cut a heel promo on the way down to the ring. The bell sounds to get things started. We see some more, some brief uh, back and forth action after Briscoe hits a big high spot. We head to a mid-match commercial break. Oh, come on. As we return from the break, uh, we see Briscoe turn on the Redneck FU to help uh, take over the fence for his team. Ichi takes over Smart Mark Sterling on the apron, and then O'Reilly hits a straight on bar for the win. Br Briscoe is awesome. So winners are the conglomerate. All right. Uh, we have backstage with Chris Jericho and that stuff. Um, backstage, uh, we hear from the learning tree, Chris Jericho, who complains about having his finger broken against Murrow. Benaro Shizuki and suffering uh, 100 chops from him on Dama. He says he'll get him back with 200 chops the next time they meet and taunts Kajori Shibata for having no friends and learn and the learning tree coming to for him. Hi, hi guys. All right, next match. I mean, next match the Murhawk Monster, Lance Archer versus local and enhancement uh, talent. <laughs> When we return from inside the arena, the Martyr Hot Monster Lance Archer makes his way to the ring and immediately starts uh, being down some local talent, which is all he is referred to on the broadcast. Archer squashes him in seconds for an easy win. We had to uh, another break of after the bout. So winner is the Martyr Hot Monster Lance Archer. All right, next match is FTR versus M uh, M M M MXM Collection. Uh, when we return from the break, we have the premier sounds at the entrance theme of FTR outcomes, a popular tag team uh, duo of Dax Harwell and Cash Wheeler to start their journey back to the AEW World Tag Team Championships at All-In in 2024. The, their opponents, uh, 
the MXM uh, collection duo of Mansoor and Mason Man uh, fresh off their opponent performances at ROH Dev before this arm made their way out next. The bell sounds and fresh off running with this one. Harwood and Mansoor kick things off for their respective uh, teams after some brief back forward action. We see FTR pull ahead into the offensively as Mansoor and Man are on the floor complaining we head to a mid-match break. After we return, we see several more minutes of action leading to Harwood and Wheeler picking up the win and continuing their self-proclaimed journey back to the tag titles on the biggest stage in AW at Wembley Stadium next month. So winners are FTR. This was a, this, this was a good match. It was good. Alright, we have a video thing uh, with the acclaim backstage for Latin Wednesday. We hear, we hear fired up Matthew Bowens and Max Caster backstage immediately after Bloody Guts and Exclusive footage from Wednesday. They say never doubt the claim again. They tell the Young Bucks that they're coming for them and the titles. They also acknowledge FTR, saying they're also coming for the titles after this. We head to another commercial break. All right, main event time: Pack versus Leo Rush. Main event time. All right, when we turn, Pack steam hits and the bastard makes his way to the ring for our last match of the evening. He sells in the ring to a good pop, and then his music dies down. He rushes, uh, tune hits, and next, and now he comes to Bell Sound for John Moon with the headline bout of tonight, of uh, one of tonight's shows back and forth, uh, doubleheader on TNT. The fans break out in a dueling, uh, chant, and then the two lock up and start to get after it. Pack hits, uh, tilt, uh, tilt a world backbreaker to take over the early, uh, control of the offense after some, uh, more back and forth action rush. Uh, starts to take uh, over control of things as he does. We should get into our final match, mid match commercial break of tonight's collision. Oh, come on. Uh, when we return, we see Rush uh, fight his way back into the offensive um, lead. He slams Pack into the steel rings uh, post on the floor and then hits two back to back uh, tote suiciders through the ropes and to, onto the bastard at ringside. Back in the ring, he keeps looking for ways to try and get the three, but keeps coming up short. Pack fight, uh, fights back and gets the brutalizer for the submission win. That's how this week's sh uh, collision wraps up. Now it's time for the Battle of the Belts 11. So winner is Pack. All right, good show tonight and stuff. And um, I see you guys in the next video for uh, Battle of the Belts 11, all right? Layers.